Hey everyone, this is Ryan, health fitness professional for Cardinal Health in Mansfield, Massachusetts. Today we're going to be doing the strength-based cube fit, about 11 minutes long or so. Uh, and for this workout, you're going to need a chair as well as uh, a mat for planking towards the end of uh, the set. Uh, there is also an optional, I'm using three pounds uh, for dumbbells, uh, but again, those are optional. So if you don't have that at home, that's totally fine. You can do uh, just a little extra contraction for those muscles. So with all that said, let's begin with some squats. All right, so a side view, I'd like you to be right against your chair, hands in front, and stay on your heels as you go down as low as you can into the squat position. My feet are about shoulder width apart, and notice my knees do not go in front of my feet. By that, I mean they're not going too far forward like this. That's way too much. I want you to bring the butt back a little bit to make sure the knees stay in place as you bend and extend for the legs. This time, feel free to swing out the arms a little bit. This exercise is going to last a whole minute same with all the other exercises I have for you today. So take your time and try to go a little bit deeper into the squat with each rep you do. If you go all the way down to your chair, do your best not to relax or recline like this. And coming up. Next up, we're going into push-up position. I'm going to grab the arm rests of my chair, squeezing the glutes and the core, I'm going down and up, just like that. If the push-ups are a little too intense right now, what you can do is take one foot, bring it forward, and this front foot here should help to relieve a little bit of the intensity in the push-up. About halfway there, feel free to switch legs at any time find it necessary. You'll have a lot more control with how intense the push-up will be with this front leg. So if you go back even just a little bit, you should feel a little bit of a difference in how difficult the push-ups may be. Last one here. Excellent. All right, at this time, I'd like to grab my dumbbells. Feet together, slight bend at the knee, leaning forward with my torso. We're gonna row and extend the arms, just like this. So as I bring my elbows back, I want my elbows just behind my back or a little bit higher. The elbows back, I really want to squeeze the shoulder blades together and stretch my arms so I can get a good contract contraction in the triceps. Keeping my arms nice and narrow. We got about five seconds left. So let's do one more. And Relax, standing up. All right, next up I'm going to do a front view, feet shoulder width apart, and I want to slide my hands down the legs, just do about halfway down the shin, coming back up, and curl. Down, keeping the back nice and flat, coming back up for the curl. Side view, you can see I have a nice flat back all the way down. And just like I said in that first exercise with the squat, bringing the butt back to make sure my knees don't go in front of my toes. We get about 15 seconds left. Down. Last curl here. 
and that's it for the dumbbells. And what I'd like to do now for planking is I'll be on my chair, hands on the armrest, and just sidestep. This is the easier version for the plank with my hands on the armrest like this, slightly elevated. I'm gonna do just a couple more of these side steps and then I'm going to increase my intensity by going down on the floor. If you wanna stay by your chair doing the planks, you can. I'll do my plank right here. Side stepping for a few more seconds and then we'll go into set two. And excellent. Going into set two, starting everything over. Again, staying right by your chair, hands in front, down into the squat and back up. Notice how much I'm moving my hips. They come forward, a little bit of an extra thrust, and bringing them as far back as I need to. Keeping the back nice and flat. The best way to keep my spine nice and neutral is I'm engaging my core, keeping this tight, as well as my glutes. They are tight all the way down and up. Barely any relaxation here. Just a couple more. This is the last one here. And up. Shaking that out real quick for the legs. Going back into chest. Hands on the armrests of your chair and one foot in front if you need to for the push-up. Make sure your elbows are nice and wide. They're not too close in to your torso like that. Keep them out. Again, we're doing this for an entire minute. Take breaks when you need to. Switch legs if you need to. back flat and again use this front leg here to have control as to how intense you want your push-ups to be. A little farther back makes it tougher, a little farther forward will make it a little easier for you. Enough time for one more and standing up. Excellent. A little more for upper body grabbing your weights Feet together, slight bend of the knee, row, kick back, and down. One, two, three, four. My back is nice and straight. Same with my neck. I'm not looking straight ahead, hyperextending my neck. It's right here. Squeeze your back muscles as much as you can, especially if you don't have any weights with you today. Do your best to not shrug as you row. Keep the shoulders down, away from your jawline. Enough time for one more. And very good. Next up, feet shoulder width apart. Hands in front, bring it down, flat back, and up, and curl. Bringing it down just to the midpoint of your shin, then coming back up, and squeeze. If you feel like you're hyperextending your back, you might want to squeeze your core a little bit tighter to help counteract that motion. Core is tight, glutes are tight, 
Bring the hips back on the way down. And forward on the way up. We got about 15 seconds left. Taking your time. Good squeeze in the glutes. Last one here. And up, curl. Weights to the side. And back to plank position. I'm gonna start my first half, or my first 30 seconds on the chair. Straight leg side step. Just a couple more here. And I'm gonna go down on the floor for my last 30 seconds. Staying off my knees, keeping the core engaged. If you're on the floor, like I am, make sure your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Enjoy your breathing. Keep the hips low to the ground. Keep your back parallel to the floor. And knees on the floor. Standing up. So that's it for Cube Fit Strength today. I hope you guys got a lot out of that in the 10 or 11 minutes this took. If you guys have any questions or concerns about what we just did, feel free to email us. Uh, you can also check out other services we have for you, such as more Cube Fits on our YouTube page, as well as uh, personal training services if you'd like. If you're having any trouble with flexibility when it comes to Cube Fit Strength, you can also sign up for trigger point training. So a lot of options there for you guys while you're stuck at home. But as always guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Let us know what you think about this video and we'll see you in the next one.